This is Coach Patrick from Endurance Nation with the sixth and final video for the Ian Group's off-season program. In this case, I'm covering the VDOT calculator, which you've downloaded from the online website given to you within the Training Zones tab of the Google Docs spreadsheet. So uh, since we're using PACE for the running, uh, this is a bit of a new thing for many of you, I'm sure, and this calculator helps you determine those key PACEs for you. Since we're doing a 10K test, I'm um, assuming you've done your 10K test, so let's say done our 10k which is 6.2 miles and say I did it in 45 minutes because that's where I'm at right now my target which I'm aiming for at the end of the session is a 13.1 mile run my half marathon time trial and I'm gonna hit calculate here that spits out a pace for me for my my race day effort for the 10k so I get a sense for what my pace was more importantly it gives me a V dot number and some training paces and these training paces here are the training paces that I'll be using throughout the program uh, and you get to recalibrate them every time you test, but this is where they are. You have 857 for your long run pace, 727 for your threshold pace, your interval pace for 400 meters is 142 or 102 seconds, and then your rep pace is 96 seconds or a minute 36. All laid out for you. Each of these paces is defined in the running sheet and also online in the EN Groups forum where the abbreviation section is, but this is where you'll actually go through and determine what your paces are for those other elements. Uh, as you're using these paces in your actual training, if you have a GPS uh, unit that you can run with that gives you your pace feedback, awesome. If you don't, I recommend that you spend a lot of time finding routes to nearby tracks where you can run, run over to a track, get yourself dialed in for the appropriate pace, and then you can go running from there, uh, which is what I like to do, kind of calibrate myself there. Or if you know you're going to be in a brutal winter because you live in the north somewhere, um, then I suggest you hop on a treadmill and use that pace. Uh, just as with using treadmills all the time, definitely make sure you put it at least one, maybe even one and a half percent grade to simulate proper running. You can go from there. Uh, it also spits out a target time for you. I forgot to mention that here, so you get a sense for what your target time would be if you're able to hold that 10K effort across 13.1 miles. Uh, pretty cool tool, uh, definitely very useful, and we'll be popping in here every so often when we test to recalibrate our paces appropriately. All right, that's it for the VDAP video and for all of the Ian Groups videos. Any further questions, please fire them up on the Ian Groups forum at endurancenation.us forward slash forums. This is Coach P signing off. Happy training.